I'm going to do two poems for you this afternoon, both about really important women in my life, my mother and my maternal grandmother. So this first piece is for our mothers, all those mamas who cook and make something out of nothing and who nurture us every day. Mommy's making mambo. Mommy's making mambo. She putting kings to shame. She got more flavor in her food than in Gran Combo's horn section. There is more of a get down groove in my mother's kitchen than a Friday night at Copa's. She puts Tito Puente to shame with the sabor in her cocina in the domain of the Del Valle kitchen. My mother is the dictator. I refer to it as Carmen's culinary queendom. She becomes a cuisine conquistadora wielding a freshly sharpened knife like a sword above her head. The towel becomes a whip with which she wipes every trace of spillage. The bottle of adobo is a shield against any possibility of blandness and Goya doesn't stand a chance. Here, everything is fresh. No prepackaged junk. She is the menu mercenary, the soldier of soul food, the culinary commando. You better back the hell up cause mommy's making mambo. She hangs the hats of iron chefs off the windowsill like roast duck trophies and laughs at the sight of any edible food item. Whoa, ah, 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 ah. No meat in the freezer. Pfft. Spam and corned beef in a can are transformed into virtual filet mignon. Rice cooks itself instantly at her command and beans jump into bubbling pots shrieking, Carmen, please, please, cook me, master, honor me with your spice. Emerald and Julia Child smear hamburger flippers in her presence cause mommy's making mambo. It was there in my mother's kitchen that I learned more than just how to cook is where I learned the essence of rhythm and power. I learned to dance in that kitchen. Shiny aluminum rice pots clanging like cowbells with metal spoons, cast iron frying pans, a wooden mortar and pestle provided the percussion section. With the radio humming softly in the background, the fall of her steel blade on a wooden cutting board became the clave. The hissing of the pressure cooker harmonized with the sizzling of sofrito and bubbling beans softening in covered pots in her hands, moved faster than mongos and congas during a riff making mofongo con caldo, she would take me by the hands and spin me into the oblivion of music, leaving me to dance in the center of the kitchen, my senses overloading with the sense of coming cilantro and the sounds of Hector Labor, Gran Combo, and Tito Puente on the only Puerto Rican radio station in Chicago. She would return to singing and doing the shuffle from sink to stove, stove to sink, tasting and testing her masterpieces, answering questions like, Mommy, how do you make arroz con gandula? Mommy, how do you dance merengue? Because Mommy is making mambo the way to a man's heart is through his stomach and your hips, so you better learn how to cook me, huh? I learned to dance in my mother's kitchen and I got all the secret recipes. Two and a half cups of caderas, a pound of gyrating pelvis, a pinch of pursed lips, a tablespoon of shaken shoulders, and a generous helping of so combine and mix. This is a recipe for ritmo. You see, we like our food the way we like our music. Hot, spicy, satisfying, con sabor, papa. I ingested rhythm through umbilical bonds, now ingrained in my DNA, and I can't rid myself of the sabor of my blood, the swing in my salsa step, the natural response to music. As stubborn as a plantain stain, you can't wash off. Rhythm is inheritance. Taste passed down through generations. Movement is inborn, and I'm dancing the way my mother cooks, slow, sultry, spicy, sabrosa, natural, instinctive dripping sweet sweat like fresh leche de coco spinning as fast as piraguas melt in summertime south side heat dancing with as much kick as cuchifrito and bacaldi standing strong like a morning time bustelo dancing as urgently as a shot of roncaña cooling myself off with cola champán pounding like a papaya bongo steamy as pasteles at Christmas blending my hip hop y mambo like a piña colada my mouth watering for music with sabor en cadera soothes down my hips, dulce as celia's azúcar, con dulzura, I'm cooking with sabor, I'm bailando con sabor, cause mommy's making mambo, mommy's making mambo, mamucha, come eat, the food's ready. <laughs> from a, a strong stock, <laughs> put it that way. Um, I owe a lot to the women in my family, um, and I, I tell these stories because they weren't able to. Um, so this is for my grandmother, who I never really knew, uh, my mother's mother, 
And this is for all of our grandmothers, for all of those women, maybe whose faces we've never seen and whose names we don't know, who made it possible for us to be seated, you know, sitting in these chairs today. Abuela, our common thread began in my mama's womb. Spun my fetus like a record in her cipher, sampled your stubborn and mixed in her father's posture. Our connection is full circle, abuela. You bear of children. You seer of spirits. You are truly miraculous. You are the whispers of litanies and white lace tablecloths. Your melody is captured in the spilled candle wax of my skin. My tongue's a broken needle, scratching through the grooves of a lost wisdom, trying to find a faith that beats like yours. What secrets do your bones hold? What pattern does your dust settle into when I beat these drums inside my ribs? What color was the soil of your grandmother's garden? Abuela, how did you pray? Did you store the memory of your creator in strands of hair tucked into scented soap boxes or placentas buried under avocado trees? What reservoir did you pull your faith from? Was it anything like this gumbo, this sancocho, this remix of rituals and chants sampled from muscle memory and spirits that visit my dreams that I struggle to stir into discipline to honor the unseen with these shells, this sage, these rudrashka and rosary beads, these white candles, crystal statues, sweet water, honey, rum, in sweet grass, abuela, how did you pray before someone told you who your God should be? How did you hold the earth in your hands and thank her for its fecundity? Did the sea wash away your sadness? How did you humble yourself before your architect? Did you lower yourself to your knees or rock to the rhythm of ocean waves like I do? Abuela, how did you pray? Some say faith is for the weak or small-minded, but I search for your faith everywhere. Need it to reassemble myself whole from these shards of Chicago ice and island breezes so I can rewrite the songs of your silence and pain, your lonely fists broken to smile and burdens into a medley of mantras. Wish you could have shown me its shape. But I know it is here in every sacred breath, in the shadows of trees you visit me in, in the flicker of flames I stare into, searching for what's divine. And I know my body is the instrument my maker uses to rearrange the broken chords of your history into a new symphony for my unborn children's feet to dance to. And I see you, grandmother, gathering with your sister and to chant the names of the living and the dead and remind us all that whether gathered in a marble temple around a midnight fire or black party speakers, we have always raised our hands to the sky, trying to touch the invisible force that holds these cells together into a fragile mass, children of different nations, but the same vibration. We be sound to beat, to base, to bone, to flesh. We be sound to beat, to base, to bone, to flesh. We are all truly miraculous.